Hello everybody, welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Rector. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And if you're on Twitter, by all means follow me there as well, at Art by Jar. All those links and stuff will be in the description in case you guys wanted to uh, follow me anywhere else. Um, today's quick, uh, very quick, <laughs> um, uh, video that I wanted to show you again takes place in Manga Studio. Um, this was actually a problem I had when I did our, our previous, or the previous Manga Studio video. I was talking about the perspective rulers. And I'm going to get into that really quickly. Um, but the, the point of this one is, I'll show you right now and we'll just go through it. Let's say I had a scene like this where um, it's a three-point perspective panel or a splash page. Um, but we're going to, you, you see this a lot in superhero comics especially, or action-heavy comics, where the three-point perspective isn't necessarily straight on. It's, it's tilted, as you can see here. Uh, you know, it's kind of slanted to give a little bit more dynamic feel, you know, a little bit out of the norm. Um, but how do we do that with the rulers? Um, I was able to figure it out uh, from some resources online. Uh, you can check out pencilkiller.com. I'll include a link in that in the show notes as well. Uh, lots of fabulous resources, but anyway. So we'll say we have this uh, right here. That's our sketch layer. And again, just go through the steps. Click New Layer um, under Layer Type. Uh, we're going to change um, to ruler layer, and it's going to save it already there. Click OK, and under the ruler here, we're going to get that new ruler layer. Um, so normally, like how we did in the previous video, if you click up ruler, uh, new special ruler, and it's three-point perspective, th this is what I'm talking about. It, it's straight. Our horizon line, this one that runs from left to the right, our horizon as if we were standing there, um, isn't correct to the, the image that we need. Um, there's a couple ways around this. Um, there's some shortcut keys you can actually have. Uh, make sure your ruler layer is selected. Um, if you're to press things like S, um, okay, that's not working because I, oh, my bad. <laughs> what you need to do first is uh, right click on anywhere on this ruler. I like to click outside the panel or outside the image and fix eye level to horizontal, or uh, sorry, fix eye level to horizontal. Unclick that. Now what that lets us do is now we can move this freely. Uh, if you like doing just quick shortcuts, uh, S will rotate it, you know, and you can still move it. Uh, X, or A, sorry, will rotate it back. Um, but I'm more of a hand-on type of guy. Uh, so what I'll do is you just go over here uh, under this object selector and give that a click. And then you just uh, move it around. Um, so I'm just going to do this very quickly here. So we'll say our horizon line is uh, around, I don't know, We'll say it's there, we'll just to see. And right here, your vertical line, or your plumb line, however you like to call it, uh, it actually always stays 90 degrees to that, which is actually really cool. I'm just going to move some lines here to see if see if things are lining up generally to the right the right way. I think my this can come down a bit. Let's give a little bit more dynamic feel to it. Uh, and again, you could tweak this to your heart's content. Uh, I'm fine with how it's going so far. Let's see these lines here. How crazy do these lines get? All right, we'll bring this guy down a little bit. And uh, like I said in the previous video, this feature right here makes it very difficult to want to go back uh, to do comics in Photoshop for myself. Um, like I like I previously talked about a bit. Uh, when I work in Photoshop, I usually have a path tool, and um, I'm probably going to do a, a quick video on that as well because not everybody has this software, you know, and that's not a, a dig against anybody. Um, but in Photoshop, there's a path tool that I downloaded, and I'll try to include the link for all that good stuff there as well. Um, and it's a path tool that you stroke, and it basically does this sort of thing right here. And, uh, this right here is so much quicker, especially what I'm about to do. Um, okay, so that looks like it's about right. Um, so we got that. Now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to lower the opacity on that layer a little bit. You know, just knock her back. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'll grab a marker on a new layer. And uh, up at the top here, always make sure that your snap to perspective ruler is on. And, uh, you know, sometimes seeing all these lines is a little crazy. You can actually turn that layer off like that and I believe let me just quickly sketch here and see if it locks it in uh, no nope. let me turn the correction off and uh, snap oh I guess it does have to be on that's weird I could have swore that I I had it off before that's okay anyway so just quickly oops uh, knock in the perspective oops, that we uh, that we had so as you can see here this this point right up here uh, it, it's very close 
to here so it's not going to mimic it perfectly uh, like I said I could spend I could have spent some more time uh, adjusting the perspective to make it more close or closer to uh, the sketch that we had but uh, I mean this is <laughs> pretty amazing just the ability to be able to do something like this and uh, oops that's wrong Okay, so I'll just zoom out again. And I mean, obviously, you can play around with it uh, to get it closer to what you're looking for. But, uh, you know, uh, if, if we were to just turn on those layers again, and then you'd go in here and, you know, you could quickly oops, sketch in your... Uh, where all your windows and things would go. This is very vaguely how, you know, it's kind of cut up a bit of how I normally would work but uh, so when we'd have that then I would you know turn that to a new blue line drop the opacity on that guy make a new layer um, you know and then I would go in here and I would really start worrying about you know making windows perfect or as perfect as you want uh, the beauty of uh, Mega Studio as well is uh, let me just erase all that oops oh it's still locked <laughs> When you're erasing things on a perspective layer, make sure you turn that off or else you'll lock it to the line. Um, so once I have that, I don't have to keep following that ruler layer at all. Uh, you know, it's already in the background. I can just, you know, freehand over top of it if I wanted to. Uh, what else was I going to say? Something really quick. Um, uh, I forget. It, it, it doesn't really... Oh, right here. Uh, correction. If you turn your correction all the way to maximum, maximum power... Uh, I think I showed you guys is this in the previous video. It'll turn from one point to the other point relatively straight. Uh, so you could essentially just go over it like that, and it still has a very rough um, freehand look to it, but with a slight, you know, correction put on there. And uh, you know, the closer you get, um, the better that line will start to represent itself. It won't be as jaggy. So, I mean, there's plenty of tools you can do in there, but uh, the majority of this video, I just wanted to show you that really cool uh, three-point rotation, and that works for two-point and one-point as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, take care, and uh, if you guys, I, I wanted to say too, I'm going to start doing this in all the videos I post. Um, I'll try to have an annotation. I'll have an annotation at the beginning and at the end of the video, um, basically asking you guys if you have any questions or comments or um, topics you want me to cover in the next video, leave it into the feed or into the comment section under this video. And uh, as I'm looking or getting some time to do some more videos, I'll take a quick look and see what you guys are jumping in at, and uh, I'll throw it in there. And uh, yeah, so take care. I uh, hope to hear some comments of uh, topics you guys like covered. I will talk soon. Keep drawing and keep making comics, guys. Bye.